Hello and welcome back to Deus Machina Demon Bang. The last sphere catches us. Damn! The compressed gravity crushes through Demon Bane's armor. We're able to avoid a direct hit, but... Ugh! Shantek's output drops rapidly. When checking the display, I see that the last gravity sphere has torn a neat hole out of one of our wings. We can't fly like this. Damn! It got us! <laughs> Lieber Lee just charges again, but with Shantek damage, there's no way for us to evade. Crimson Fist plunges into Demon Vane's face like a burning meteor. Ah! Ha ha ha! I'm not done yet! Without pausing, Lieber Lee just continues with a merciless flurry of punches, and the strikes come so fast I can barely block them. My nerves are on fire, burning my brain as my reflexes accelerate to keep up with Master Therian. My blood pressure shoots through the roof, hot red tears rolling down my face as capillaries explode in the backs of my eyes. And a sudden freezing chill cuts through the inferno in my head. Destruction gathers in Liebeligius' right hand, freezing the world as it burns with the white flame of ultimate cold. A blaze of absolute zero cuts through the darkness. Hyperbora Zero Drive! Not so fast! I use Demon Bane's remaining hand to smash Liebeligius' arm aside. It just barely grazes us, but still takes half our shoulder with it. And next comes... Ah! Our cockpit suddenly shakes violently as flames erupt from shattered consoles. What the... I look down. Lever Legis' left hand is buried in Demon Bane's belly, so they're trying to rip our guts out. Oh shit, that attack was a decoy? Master Therian roars with contempt. Be gone. The hand gouged into Demon Bane bristles with electricity. An energy surges from Lever Legis' hand. A point-blank explosion blasting Demon Bane clear out of the arena. As we pass through the barrier wall, explosions rack Demon Bane's internals. Shit! I try to use Shantek's failing power to regain control. But suddenly, however, Demon Bane is caught by some unseen force. Our machine is suddenly heavy and can barely move. What the hell? Damn! We're caught in the Earth's gravity! Is it just me or is this pretty much where we came in? Is it right back at the beginning, more than a hundred parts ago? Yo, this story began with two day with a day's machine falling from the sky. Shantak is running at full capacity, but with half of it missing, there's no way we can get enough thrust to escape the Earth's gravity well. There's nothing! Ah! The cockpit shakes violently as Lever Legis slams into us with crushing force, and the impact drives Demon Bane deeper into the Earth's gravity well. Fall! A Deus Machina blaze red with heat as we enter the atmosphere. Fall! Flames of absolute zero gather in Lieber Legis' right hand, burning more fiercely than the scorched air around us. The flames of absolute... I'm oh, sorry. They're trying to finish us off. This is bad, but... Fall, Demon Bane! You're coming with us! We summon a flaming pentagram to cancel out the destructive spell in Lieber Legis' hand. And avoiding the strike, we seize Lieber Legis in a mighty bear hug, squeezing with all the love we can muster. Phew! Demon Bane strengthens its grip, trying to crush through Lieber Legis' armor to tear it to shreds. But I can hear Master Therian's mocking laughter, even above the roar of burning air. <laughs> Master and Grimoire, both with the same tricks. You never learn, Alazif! Lieber Legis seizes Demon Bane's face with its left hand, its palm glowing with the reverse triangle that signifies Abrahadabra, the light that purifies the dead. Explosion. Demon Bane's power drops sharply. Unable to maintain our hold on Lieber Legis, Demon Bane is thrown away to fall to the earth alone. Atlatna Char! Huh? Beam hair pours from Demon Bane's head, the shining strands expanding to form a blazing spider's web in burning air. The arresting field traps Lieber Legis, holding it completely motionless, and the laughter ceases as they roar in hate. Damn you! Where do you want to fall? <laughs> Grabbing the threads, we yank Lieber Legis into range, and without wasting a breath, we thrust one hand deep into Lieber Legis' chest and wrap our other arm tight around its neck. Ah! Don't be so unfriendly! We'll stick together to the end. It's burning. The world is burning. Demon Bane and Lieber Legis streak across the sky of Earth like shooting stars. Huh? 
<laughs> Tears you Koru <laughs> Master Therion Al Hazif Atonic Manuscripts Lumeria Hyporia Impact Zero Drive Earth, 65 million BC. We crash into what will later be the Yuk I know how to pronounce that word. We crash into what will later be the Yotacon Peninsula of modern day Mexico, and the force of our impact triggers another dimensional quake. From the gap in space time pours a vast amount of energy, the energy of a world where the laws of the universe don't apply. It is Demon Bane and Liberlegis' final battlefield, a universe that is nothing and yet infinite momentary and yet eternal. As it is finally released into existence, a tiny portion of its power spills through the crack, and for most of Earth's life that energy is the sickle of death. For others, however, it bestows the gift of evolution. The center of the blast reaches 600,000 degrees Celsius, instantly vaporizing the land. The crater reaches 170 kilometers in width, and its depth pierces the Earth's mantle. The power of the explosion is some to 10,000 times greater than that all of all the nuclear weapons in the world. Everything vanishes into the light. It shatters, dissolves, and then is reborn. It forms the final universe. I see nothing. I hear nothing. The world has no light. The world has no sound. All I can feel are Al's presence and Liber Legis warping the world with the force of its hate. Even our most powerful attacks fail to finish our battle, and the truth comes to me as a sudden realization. For no matter what forces of destruction Liber Legis brings to bear against us, Demon Bane will never be defeated. No matter what ultimate weapons we wield against Liber Legis, we will never be able to destroy it. Neither combatant can finish the other, and if there is truly no way to win, we will surely continue this battle for all time, past, present, and future. However, there is one exception. Our final weapon. The absolute power that can reject Liber Legis' existence utterly. The Shining Trapeza Hadron. I still think this is a trap. I still think that he wants you to use that bloody thing. And the battle reaches the ultimate moment. The darkness gathers. The darkness gathers. The darkness gathers. Twisted, insane and writhing. The otherworldly darkness gathers. The light gathers. The light gathers. The light gathers. Raging and howling and gloating, the otherworldly light gathers. And at the utmost reaches of the darkness, at the utmost reaches of the light, there is another world. A world that must not be. It is the lair of the paradox. A tear in existence made taboo by the gods. Darkness comes together in Demon Bane's right hand. A black hole is formed. It is summoned into this world of the other, tearing reality asunder as it comes. It is a warped temple pillar, a twisted holy tree, a hallowed sword with no blade. Now, wielding absolute power, Demon Bane will bring judgment to... Wait, what? What? Liber Legis stands before Demon Bane, its chest open to reveal its main engine. For the Deus Machine's infinite heart emerges a mass of darkness, a black hole. This can only mean... No way. Did you think this was yours alone, al -Azif? It is summoned, tearing reality asunder as it comes. A warped temple pillar, a twisted holy tree, a hallowed sword with no blade, a shining trapeze of Hadron. Indeed, dear Jukuru, this is our ultimate weapon. The Shining Trapeza Hadron! Why do you have it too? Even we don't understand what the Trapeza Hadron is. But somehow Liber Legis can use it too? With all the confusion, I'm filled with unspeakable horror. How can there be two of such a terrifying thing in the universe? Master Therian speaks, his voice filled with contempt for our shock and awe. You don't know. She didn't tell you. She. That which cannot, must not exist, hallowed and made taboo by the gods, the shining Trapeza Hadron. At the end of eternity it has finally come into our hands. 
Why, you ask? In the space between fantasy and reality, an otherworldly woman speaks. She trembles with joy, for creation has at last reached this moment, and it is the universe of the gods that they sealed. She quivers with loathing at the memory of those who drove her kind into exile. Demon Bane grasps its shining trapezohadron. Like a perfect mirror image, Lebo Legis takes its shining trapezohadron in hand. Both Deus Machina face off with exactly the same stance. There is no other weapon that can bring an end to our battle. When these two shining trapezohedr when these two shining trapezohedrons collide, one of us will be expelled from this universe. Ugh. Demon Bane and Lebo Legis move at precisely the same time, without even the tiniest variation. We each point our trapezohedron at the other, used to carve a magic circle into the void. But for some reason, we know that this is the true way to use this weapon. The light of our trapezohedrons burns into the darkness of space, performing blazing patterns in the black gulf. The collision of the shining trapezohedrons! For that purpose alone have I all, have you all been trapped in eternity! Told you! Kuru, you probably don't remember though. In the space between fantasy and reality, the inhuman woman speaks, though there is no one to hear her words. The demon who knows only despair, and the hero who knows only hope, the ultimate manifestations of human evil and human good, these were the needed pieces, for nothing but their own satisfaction, she s for nothing but her own satisfaction she speaks adoringly of her two beloved pawns, drunk on the memory of how she dragged them down into sweet corruption. Indeed, it will all end here. At last, at last I will be free of this endless terror and despair. Master Therian. Master Therian's voice. There's no trace of his earlier madness in it. Only the emptiness of a soul grants nothing. For the first time, I see this inhuman youth as a withered old man. But that lasts for only an instant. And yet, that alone will not satisfy me. Tiazukuru, Alazif. The hate that I have forged over the eons, this eternity of terror, I will carve them into your very souls. His hate pours from him like a raging flood. No, he has become hate itself. I see. You finally abandoned your humanity. There's only one thing for us to do. It's been so long, so very long. This form... The Black Pharaoh, Father Nye, separated from the thousand faces we sought it in the world of man. Still in perfect unison, Demon Bane and Lieber Legis cross the blades of the shining trapezohadrons. The trapezohadrons resonate, trembling in our grasp as they howl. They howl with the joy of battle. They howl with the sorrow of battle. It took a thousand eternities to find two of the trapezohadron, but I couldn't touch them. They hallowed it after all, so I needed pawns who could wield them. Come, dear Jukuru, Alazif, now I will show you despair. Their voice rings out clearly through the universe, even above the roaring of the trapezohadrons. First it was the ultimate demon, the enemy of the world, the god freeing key, Master Therian. But it took a thousand more eternities to complete you. Despair? The hell with that! We're here for one thing, Master Therian. To defeat you. We'll open the path to the future and give the world hope. Our determination echoes clearly through the universe, even above the roaring of the trapezohadrons. And the smiter of evil, who wields the unholy to defeat the unholy, the demon-slaying blade, Diazu Kuru. I have spent eons to reach this moment of your completion. Don't make me laugh! Lieber Legis steps forward. Laugh all you want. Demon Bane steps forward. You can just keep looking down on humans, laughing in envy. We raise the shining trapezohadron. Well, I'm gonna have to cut this part here, so thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next part, when things will be getting even messier, I suspect.